Welcome back to Buzz About Cricket, Andy Buzzer here. Today's video is all about facing swing bowling. And more importantly, what we can do as batters to stop getting out the same boring way. Snicked off, LBW, simply because the ball's moved, isn't a good enough excuse anymore. I've got a few tips, I've got a few ideas of what we can do as players to try and prevent giving our wicket away simply because the ball is swinging. Okay, so tip number one. Now, this isn't rocket science. This is simply watching the ball. As soon as the bowler gets it and puts it in their hands, your eyes should be glued to it, especially if the ball is moving. If you're able to see where the shiny or the rough side is, it's going to allow you to make a few decisions earlier than normal. Plus, also, it's going to give you that real focus required to make late decisions. Tip number two. Now, this is something that people don't work on enough, and that is knowing where their off stump is. If we're able to leave the ball alone early in the innings, again, that's going to help us process more information from that ball, and we're going to register more of the pace, the bounce, the pitch, etc. I would suggest there's a little channel between fourth, fifth, sixth stump, especially if the ball's swinging away, we're going to be able just to let that ball go and really watch it go behind us. In this still, you can see when I've left the ball alone, I'm actually going to watch it into what would be the keeper's hands. From there, again, I can see how much the ball is swinging and what line the ball is starting on. I can make my small corrections, whether it be standing on off stump or simply just saying, right, anything inside that little area I'm not going to play, anything closer, that's where I'm going to score my runs. Tip number three. Now, this is about contact point. I really urge you to allow that ball to travel a little bit further. If we can hold our shape and hit the ball underneath our eye line, we're going to be able then to make any late adjustments required for when the ball does swing or move off the seam. If we look to play out in front of our body and the ball has then swung away, that's when we're going to be getting an outside edge. As you can see here, I'm looking to get outside of my crease but allowing the ball to come to me. When I've made contact, it's underneath my eye line and the ball is actually going to touch squarer than normal. Tip number four, that's what leads straight to. We're going to look to try and score our runs squarer than normal. The reason why this is is because we're looking to play the ball late, especially if the ball is swinging away from us. We're then going to be able to hit the ball through point and through the covers more than if we're hitting down the ground. Of course, if the ball is really full, a half volley length, that's when we look to full face of the bat, bang, straight back in the V. If the ball is swinging though from a length and we're looking to play with it, we're like, like a spinner. We actually play with that movement and we can hit on top of the ball through that cover region. Tip number five. Now this is something that I don't think is spoken about enough and that is being positive. Uh, that doesn't necessarily mean you have to be overly aggressive with your play, but you have to capitalize on your opportunities. Now, bad balls don't necessarily always have to be a long hop or a long half volley. It could be a bowler just bowling slightly wider than normal. We have to you know, capitalise on that width. It could be that we've left the ball alone beautifully and now that bowl is straight too straight. Bang, we have to hit that ball. If we just stand there and block and leave, block and leave, block and leave, pressure will build and we'll look to do something and the inevitable will happen. Capitalise on any opportunity, and the more you hit that cricket ball, the less it is going to swing. But also your confidence will go up, and naturally you'll start to gauge and see the ball a little bit better. So my final tip is all about shape, and it's all about your balance. Now this is a tip that should be done regardless if the ball is swinging or not, but if it is, you have to really concentrate on holding your position and keeping your head in line with that cricket ball. If you fall outside the line of the ball and you have the leaning tower of Pisa and you then start having guesswork with your hands, that's when you might potentially get wrapped on the pads at LBW. Hold that position, hold that shape and look to hit as straight as possible, especially if the ball is coming in. So guys, uh, that is a few ideas from me about facing swing bowling. Uh, I'm going to do a new video soon and that's going to be about the drills that you can actually use to implement a few of those ideas. Uh, if you agree or disagree with anything that I've said today, please feel free to leave a comment. Uh, press that like button if you've enjoyed the video and of course if you want to, you can subscribe to my channel. I'm Andy Buzzer, uh, that's Buzz About Cricket, catch you next time.